Oh, we're back on Smells Like 90s Rock. It's Hot Toddy and DJ Pork, and we're we're just scouring some through some old photos here online. On the Facebooks. On oh, the there's Facebooks. my mom's wedding photo. Oh, is that the, I got, I on guess, the right. the wedding to your dad? I'm uh, no. My brother's dad. <laughs> First marriage. Wait a minute. Your he, dad was her second husband? Yes. I did not know that. I did yeah. not know that. Her first husband sucked. Well, yeah, clearly. I've looked. Oh, my mom was so pretty. She's still so pretty. Mm-hmm. But okay, that's just. Uh, oh God. Oh, oh yeah. What? Oh, there she is. Uh oh. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Oh, oh God. That's me. That's me. That's oh me. Oh my God. Yeah. That photo. Oh, you know the funny. You know the funny story behind this photo. What's that? It was that like my my aunt took this photo. She and she said, um, "DJ Bork, put your arm around your brother." And I did this. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it, Bork. Nailed it. <laughs> I was like two. <laughs> I'll be some slack. You know, it was great. You oh, did great. God. And there it is again. There it is again. <laughs> it just keeps popping just, up. There's my niece. Oh, there's my brother with a mullet. Oh, God. He, uh, did he grow out of that? Hopefully. Yes, oh, he looks God. more like this now. Okay, good. Uh, that's him as a child. There's, oh, God. Oh, God. oh, God. It's me. It's oh, me. No. Oh, that's me. Oh, it was a cute baby, sort cute, of. Sort of. Pork photos. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah. Stop. Stop. There's a, uh, there's a chest of drawers. <laughs> oh, there's that's my grandfather's nice. grave. Well, he died relatively early there. Yeah, I, yeah, he died twelve years before I was born. Uh, my mom, where is it? I guess, I guess not on her profile. There's, there's a picture of uh, my older brother with Aerosmith because that's what we're to, looking yeah, for. They yeah. came to Knoxville one year, and my brother managed to get backstage passage passes. And that's, and that's just blasphemous because I would have loved to have met Aerosmith. How dare he? Yeah. We were, I, how did we get on Aerosmith? Oh yeah, because we were looking at we were looking for uh, we were watching Armageddon, the scene where. Do you want to mention the, this this connection? Yeah, um, my Dan, my Dan, yeah, my aunt. <laughs> You're very tired. My aunt dated uh, one of the cast members in high school. It was it's uh it's the guy who dies and he's on screen for less than five minutes. He's not a big name at all. No, this still. is not one of the, not one of the main actors. Yeah, we won't film. mention his name. No. But, but oh just, yeah, and we saw Liv Tyler in that clip. Yeah, and that's just wonderful. And she's just lovely. She's lovely. But suffice it to say, this guy dies in the film, in the worst way possible. He gets yeah. sucked out of the yeah. space shuttle. Bruce Willis goes like, "Hey, what is that? Is that the other shuttle?" And then bam, and a then body, the body, body the and his body slams into the window. Like, oh no! <laughs> it's kind of great. It's kind of a great scene. Like, I, I'm not a huge Armageddon fan, so it's fine. It's a fine movie. It's um, I. I saw Neil deGrasse Tyson public, or he posted a video about it once. He's like, "I'm watching the dumbest space movie ever. It's so great." I, I kind of appreciated it in that. Well, sense. yeah, because it's just that dumb. And then, what's funny is that it's that, a Michael Bay movie. That it's movie, fine. not that movie. And then the, a year later, or is it maybe later that year? I don't remember. No, it was it was the same year. Nine. This was ninety eight, and both and in both. Oh, Laura, I lost my train of thought. In ninety eight, there were two movies that had like exact same competition armageddon was one you had armageddon then deep impact deep impact i remember that it was immediate competition same came out at the same time later that year pixar puts out Ant, uh no puts out a bug's life then ants and ants was its immediate competitor same year didn't that happen i want to say that happened again did it uh, recently uh no but i mean like kind of in that time frame i remember you would have like the basic premise for a mm-hmm. movie, and then it would like, like it, it would immediately, yeah, like immediately be copied. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, that those are the two that stand out to me because yeah, they. I'm not sure if there's a connection between Armageddon and, and Deep Impact, but there is a connection between A Bug's Life and Ants because uh, the the guy that wrote Ants was a disgruntled employee from Pixar. From Pixar he got fired. So he's like, I want to make ants. He, he was working on A Bug's Life. He was the one like coming up with the story or something. They fired him, and he's like, screw this. I'm going to make my own story, and made Ants. And uh, there was there was some trouble there, but I, I, both movies got released. Was it DreamWorks? Did DreamWorks think, release I, Ants? I think so. Like, 
I think DreamWorks. Yeah. I, I want to say that Dream, DreamWorks released Shrek. Right? They did. They did. Okay. Shrek. I, I know the story behind that is that he was like the head of the project was like a disgruntled Disney employee, mm-hmm. and Shrek more or less like turns all the tropes of Disney on their head. Right. Exactly. And makes fun of all the uh, uh, storybook characters, many of whom have had Disney movies made about them. So right. And uh, I've heard this is just kind of speculation that Lord Farquaad. Uh, John Lithgow's John character Lithgow, yeah. that he's um, he bears like a really like close resemblance to the CEO of Disney at the time, Michael Eisner. Do, uh, oh my God, he does in the face. He does, yeah. and uh, and and Farquad sounds a lot like F Wad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I did not put that together. I that never was, knew I just that. I kind of saw that on just a random article. That's amazing. Day. No, that makes total sense because he does look like uh, uh, Eisner in the face. You're absolutely right. <laughs> what, did that just wreck a childhood memory for No, you? it just, that's trolling at its best. I, I wish I'd I got to see Shrek in, in theaters. You didn't I see was, Shrek in theaters? I saw it when I was, I saw it probably like right when it came out I saw on it video, the, but I didn't see it in theaters. I saw all four of them in the theater when they came out. <laughs> yeah. Wait, there's a fourth one? There's four. Oh, yeah. my God. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Um, I never actually never saw the second or the third one or the fourth one, for that matter. Oh, but I saw the first one. Saw the first one. Now, the first one, because, yeah, and we saw it in the theater, and it was pretty good. Uh, and then the second one came out. It was, was really good. third one was good, and the fourth one was blah. It was not good. Um but yeah, we saw them all in the theater. Uh, that's that's one regret I have. I wish I had seen Shrek in the theater. Shrek in the theater is yeah. good stuff. Did you see Titanic in the theater? I think I did. I'm we, not, I'm I not saw, 100% sure. I saw Titanic in the theater. I saw Gladiator in the theater. I saw boobies when I was like eight years old. I want to say I did. I'm pretty sure I did, Nine but I'm old. not 100% Kate sure. Kate Winslet boobies. Yeah. I saw Gladiator in the theater. You saw... And I, see, I didn't see Gladiator in the theater. I was... My parents were fairly lenient about mm-hmm. what I watched because Gladiator is pretty g- gory. Oh, and my there's par- a lot of violence yeah. in there. My parents are sort of too like the they would just just go over the line, not right. too far, but just. I remember seeing Speed in the theater. Really? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see Speed in the theater. Jeff Daniels gets blown up, and then Dennis Hopper gets his head knocked off at the end. That like, was so that, awesome. That was so awesome. Like great stuff in that film. Yeah, I, I saw Jumanji in the theater. That I saw fine. that in the theater too. That was fun. That was a good film. But um, I remember sp- Gladiator. I I don't really remember being bothered by the violence. I remember being bothered by Joaquin Phoenix, though. Who wasn't? Who hasn't been bothered by Joaquin Phoenix? He was the emperor. In he that was, one. and he plays like he's. I'm just sort of like, what exactly is he doing with his sister in this movie? It's, it's very creepy. Yeah, it had a very like Hamlet esque uh, relationship there between him and her, and it was. It's aged like fine wine, though. It's a the great movie. movie. Has. 